Hey there, welcome to another episode of What The Tech Show. Uh, this is the show where I'm sharing all the marketing tools that you can start using when you're working from home. And today we are going to be talking about a call scheduling tool that you can start using where you just have to share a link with someone and they can go ahead and book a call on your calendar. You can set uh, set your availability on this tool or uh, you can set your time zone. And when someone's booking a call, it'll be in their time zone. So there are no issues. You can also go ahead and access accept payments for uh, you know paid calls but of course that is a part of the paid plan we are going to go ahead and look at the free features today and then you can go ahead and test it out and if you like it you can go ahead and subscribe to the paid plan so let's go ahead I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen we'll go to Google and look for uh, acuity scheduling I'm going to go ahead and create a new account I already have an account but I'll go ahead and create a new account to show you the different features so I'm just going to click on try it now and I'm going to sign up for the free account so here it'll ask you some questions when you're signing up and you can make uh, selections here or you can also go ahead and skip this and do it later you can always uh, go back and change uh, the timings and the days that you're available on. So I'm just going to choose this for now. I'm going to use Google Calendar. I'm not going to be taking online payments because I'm using a free account. And yes, I have clients in different time zones. So I'm going to choose these settings. I'm going to use uh, an email address and Go ahead and sign up for this account. And just click on create my account. Now, when you create your account, you will uh, see a checklist on the top of your page. And all you have to do is follow that checklist so that you set up your availability, your appointment times. Uh, you can also customize your call scheduling page. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up all of this. So name. Okay, name. Business name and industry. So I'm just going to use consulting for now. And I'm going to click on get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set up your availability. Now, Acuity asked you a few questions before you created your account where you set up your availability. If you're good with that, you can skip this part. If not, you can go ahead and update your availability. So you can, uh, you know, you can basically set it up in a way that you're only available certain days of the week or certain times during a certain day. You can also have customized timings for each day. For example, if on Monday I'm not available at all, I can remove this and it will come across as closed. If on Wednesday I'm only available in the evenings, I can update this time to say 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. And I'm just going to say save regular hours. So this is basically uh, the regular time that will uh, that people will be able to see in my calendar. I can always come back and update it if it changes uh, week to week. Or I can always, you know, come back on a Sunday and review the times I have on my calendar for the coming week. So that's the first step. The second step is creating your appointment types. Now, Acuity gives you uh, this platform where you can uh, create multiple appointment types. So maybe you have an appointment type that you use for uh, talking to prospective clients. So basically, that's just like a consultation call, a free call where you give them 20 minutes. 
So you can set up uh, that type of appointment. Then probably you have another type of appointment that you use with your current clients, which is longer and which is basically a private appointment because it's with your current clients. So you can create a different appointment type. Maybe you do virtual coffee chats with your colleagues online. You could do a third appointment type for that. So you can create different appointment types. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So you just have to click on create appointment types. And here they've given you an example. You can go ahead and edit this. So since I'm using the free plan, and I've always used the free plan, I started using Asquity when I first started my business back in December 2017, and I've been using the free plan since. I use uh, PayPal or Stripe to collect payments, so I don't really use Asquity. Whenever someone books a call with me and they go ahead and want to become a client, I just send them an invoice using either Dubsado, which is a customer relationship management tool, or you can just use PayPal invoicing to send the invoice. So you don't really need the free, uh, the paid plan here for that. Of course, if you're doing a paid call, then maybe you know it would have been easier if you use the paid plan, but you can always work around and use Zapier to connect PayPal or Stripe to your Acuity um, account. So here I'm just gonna say a free consultation call and I'm gonna uh, have it for only 20 minutes. I want to keep it free, so I'm gonna, the price is zero. I can customize the color. If I put, if I wanna put an image to customize the page further, I can do that. And then I can choose a public or a private access. Since this is a free call, I'll just, uh, you know, use public for this. When I'm creating a client call, I would add the private option for that one. So I'm just gonna click on update appointment type. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create another kind of appointment. So I'll just click on new type of service and I'll create one appointment type for my current clients. So let's create a new one. I'm just gonna call this uh, client call and since this is with someone who's already my client it's going to be free they've already paid me i'll make it 60 minutes and i'll keep it private so that someone only with the link for this call can book this appointment type with me okay so you can see you have these appointment types now now the next thing is customizing your scheduling page now you can customize your scheduling page uh, so you can upload your logo, you can write a short description. So whenever someone goes to the link that you share with them in order to book a call, they will see this customized page. So my uh, link, the my main Acuity account, I always mispronounce it, but my main account has my logo and all of those things. So you can do that as well. You can update your business name. You can add your logo here. You can also add some description or instructions for someone who's booking a call with you. And you can also choose your time format, the language, and your time zone. So you want to make sure you have, uh, you have take this off where you require your clients to choose their time zone so that there is no confusion. Your client books the call in their time zone and you see it in your time zone. You can change the font, button color, all of those things, and then you can just click on save changes here. So you can go ahead and customize your scheduling page. And then the last thing that you can do, or let's, Let's actually go ahead and look at the page. I'm going to open it in a new tab. It is slow, so it's going to take its time. The next thing you can do is you can sync your calendar to your Google Calendar. So you can just go ahead, sign in through Google, Gmail, and just sync your calendar. And that really helps, you know, put your calls that are in your Acuity platform to your Google Calendar. So if on a daily basis your Google Calendar is something you check, you can go ahead and add these to that calendar. So you just have to click on um, connect with Google Calendar. 
it's just a little slow. But here you will just click here, connect to Google Calendar, and that's it. It'll ask you to log in through Google and then choose your calendar. That's it. So that is the basic setup. So we are done with the basic setup. Now, uh, some of the other things that you can do is you can create intake form questions. So sometimes when you're getting on a free call, you want to make sure that someone is qualified to get on a call with you in the sense that you, you all are the right fit for each other so that you're not wasting each other's time. So the intake form questions are great for that. Again, that is a paid plan option. So what I do is I use type form to create the questions and then I link that to Acuity. I'll show that to you in, in uh, a future video on this show. The other thing is you can, uh, they have a bunch of integrations. So you can integrate this platform with your accounting software, your CRM, your uh, payment processor, so Stripe, PayPal, etc. your email automation. Again, paid plan feature, you don't really need it. You can use something like Zapier to make that connection. The, the next thing which I think is uh, really helpful on the free plan is uh, customizing your email. So when someone books a call with you, uh, Acuity actually sends them a reminder email to make sure that they remember to get on that call with you because most people will book a call either three or four days out or a week out, right? So it, it's important for them to remember that they booked a call with you and they don't forget it. So Acuity sends them reminder emails. They also it also sends sends them rescheduling emails if they if people choose to reschedule. So here is where you can actually customize this template, or you can you know just let it be, um, and you can just say use the default template. When if you're just starting out and you want to keep it simple, you can just go ahead and use uh, the default template, or you can go ahead here and create a new template. So that's the basis of it. And when someone clicks on the link, they'll be able to go to your a scheduling page, which is basically something like this. It looks something like this. This is your logo. I've updated a random logo right now. This is the scheduling instructions, and then they can choose a choose a, a call. E call. This is how the page is going to look like. They can choose the appointment type, and then they can look for times. Since I did not set up any times, it, it's not showing any times, but then they have to fill their information and then they'll get a confirmation. So that's it. That is basically how you set up Acuity and get going. All you have to do is share this link with someone who wants to book a call with you and they will get a reminder. You will get a reminder. You'll get a confirmation. They'll also get a confirmation and that's it. That's basically how you get started. I hope this uh, video really helped you. If it did, let me know in the comments below. I will see you in the next video where I talk about some of uh, some of the other awesome marketing tools that you can get started using today. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.